<laughs> All right. A recently discovered asteroid is making space agencies, including NASA, uh, sit up and take some notice. Yeah, it's called 2024 YR4. It's between about 150 and 300 feet wide, and it's the most hazardous space rock detected in more than 20 years. Right now, it has slightly more than a 2% chance <laughs> brace yourself, of hitting the Earth in 2032, although those estimates have been changing. I think they've been changing and getting a little bit more yeah, they, likely along the way. <laughs> which is maybe why we're warning you now. That's why we're doing it now. It's eight years in advance. <laughs> and space scientist Dr. Emily Rice joins us now with more on this. Good morning. Uh, okay, Good morning. so it might happen. Maybe not. Probably not, but it might. So wh why is this something that we should be uh, looking at here? Well, NASA is always watching the skies, luckily, and this one is an interesting one. So this asteroid only discovered in December of last year, just past its closest approach to Earth. So right now is a good time to track it. Um, and from the observations that we have so far, figuring out how big it is, tracking its orbit, um, determining exactly where it's going to go in the future, it does have a 1% to 2% chance of impacting the Earth. Um, but that's still uh, it's in flux. This uh, asteroid is going to be observable until April of this year. And again, this potential impact is not going to happen until 2032. And NASA and other space agencies will be tracking it from now until then as much as possible in order to refine that orbit and really get a, a much better understanding of that percentage, which, as experts have said, is more likely than not to go down instead of up. Okay. Well, I mean, millions millions of people buy lottery tickets for way less odds than Yeah, okay, they like that. <laughs> I was just going to say, Kay, so we don't need to panic. Why are scientists paying such close attention if the likelihood of impact is so low? This is so we always pay attention to things like this, especially the bigger ones. And this is on the larger side. Um, when we find them, when we know that their orbits are potentially um, impacting Earth, then we pay attention. Um, this one is, th though, um, it's new. It was only discovered only a few months ago. And so these, like each observation, is going to significantly refine our understanding of its orbit and really tell us how worried we need to be in the future. Hmm. I mean, okay. I'm thinking space lasers. I don't know. NASA and some other yeah. international space agencies, they've been working to develop they what they call anti-asteroid defenses. Um, and NASA sent an unmanned spacecraft in 2022, I think, right? It's crashing into an asteroid to try to change the course. So was that yes. successful? and that was a very, very successful mission. Oh. Okay, so okay. we have tools in our uh, toolbox. Yes, absolutely. So that was the NASA's DART mission for double asteroid because it was a binary asteroid redirect test. It was an impactor to change very, very slightly, but change the orbit of that impact or change the orbit of that asteroid via a physical impact. And it worked. It worked amazingly. It's like wow. a giant slingshot in space. Any, you know? like, yeah, and it's crazy. It way. Anything else when they say that they're working on defenses for this that, that you know of besides like, you know, just kind of running into it? Yeah, so not all of the defenses are as exciting as a, a NASA mission like that. A lot of the defenses are just infrastructure. So our um, continued observations of this object with as many telescopes as possible, but these are small telescopes that can observe this asteroid. Um, there are also ground-based facilities. This is just kind of standard but um, improving NASA technology and infrastructure that we need to maintain, we need to um, continue funding, we need to continue having the people and the expertise right. to develop these. And so NASA is not immune from all of the uh, political upheaval that's happened in the last couple of weeks. And this is mm, one of the things that could true. be affected. Oh, this is why you need eyes on the sky, you're saying. Yep, absolutely. All right, Dr. Emily Rice, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.